What's up guys, this is Shotgun, and today I'm taking another look at the LEGO Spider-Man No Way Home Spider-Man's Drone Duel, set 76195, and has 198 pieces with two minifigures. First figure we're going to be taking a look at here is the new Spider-Man minifigure. Um, this is the first version of the integrated suit, um, and uh, it looks great. It appears to be based off of the homecoming suit which is the stand the the first one that we see from civil war and homecoming uh and it looks great the gold printing looks beautiful the printing overall in this figure just looks amazing the arm printing is great it, you can even see like the circuitry decal or details on the head and on the torso and arms and legs it looks beautiful the spider printed in gold looks great there's the belt piece right here which is printed in gray that looks great and the way you can tell that this is based off of the homecoming version is the eyes whereas the other ones i don't have the other figures with me on hand but the other eyes are bigger and these are the smaller narrower lenses and of course, as all Spider-Man sets, they come with these nice web pieces. These are printed, or not printed, these are molded in gold, in this nice pearl gold color. You get all of the standard ones, you can see. They look great. And I think that's all for the Spider-Man. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Vulture figure. And this is a definite step up from the one that we got in 2017, 2018. Uh, at, already off the bat, we got this nice helmet and gas mask combo. And I'm going to show you just right off the bat the face. Uh, first face printing. It's nice. You got the, the beady eyes. Nice mouth print you can see the the eyebrows and the other mechanical details are printed very nicely i like that silver detail and the green looks great on the eyes and on the back he has the adrian tubes michael keaton face uh very very nice printing and the skin tone printing was very well onto the gun metal try not to say the word printing too much uh, move his gun out the way beautiful torso the detail is great and something I didn't even notice when I was taking a look at these before I started the recording is that you can see the the tiny detail in there it's very covered up but where the, the mask piece goes into you can even see that right there which is great uh, the zippers and the belts and the, the the wraps for the arms look great um no leg printing which is okay no arm printing none needed uh i'm gonna take off the neck bracket so that you can see the back printing not losing the head um back printing looks great this is the padding that connects to the wings look awesome and so does the the fur printing uh that goes all the way around for the coat that looks great as well and just to show you how the helmet goes on, you probably saw it when I took it off, but I'm gonna show you just in case. Uh, actually, take that off. First, put on this mask, and then you put on the head. Uh, put on the head. Mine does not like to go on for some reason, but once you get it on, there you go, it should cover up that face, and then you can put the helmet on. And when you put the visor down, that looks great. So that's what it looks like on the front side. And then if you turn it around, man, this is not going on correctly. There we go. Okay, fix it. Yeah. All right. So this is what the head looks like the other way around. And you could put the helmet on and then just have them without the goggles. And his gun is just a standard stud shooter, purple blast, purple jewel in the back. And yeah, that's it for the minifigures. Now let's move on to the builds. 
first build we're going to take a look at is the vulture wings and these wings are very very nicely built uh you can see the stickers yeah all the stickers are or make up the wing pieces um got stickers on the nexonite shield and on the two by three modified plate the stickers look really good you got another sticker on the nexonite shield and turn it around you got this nice padding piece here using the two by two round plates and you also have the turbines on both wings and i love these wings because not only are they smaller than the ones from the 2018 version but they're also better built too they're they're more sturdy and they fall apart less and here's what the wings look like attached to the vulture oh this gun came off there we go this is what it looks like attached to the vulture and you could pose it of course it, the wings flap and so do the, the the fingers or the feathers at the end and the turbines are on a ball joint and of course they they can spin and the last bill we're going to take a look at is the spider drum which is very excessive uh i don't think spider-man is going to use this giant drone in no way home i don't see any purpose for it outside of just for playability but the build is pretty nice nonetheless so let's go into it of course you got the standard shape of a spider uh has the legs even it's more of a scarab than a spider uh but yeah i like it uh you know you got you have stud shooters on the front those shoot and then you get backup studs in case you lose those on the back you can open up this back panel and inside there i'm gonna move my hand so you can see the light inside is a open pa uh, opening panel and got a little spider guy in there so it looks pretty good it's a spider piece that was made for the 2019 wave of spider-man sets and that looks pretty good um the turbines on the on the drones spin very well all of them do they spin great and on the cockpit piece you can put spider-man inside so let's demonstrate that real quick and he fits nice and snugly in there and i love this beautiful gold molded piece uh for the for the windshield that looks great i love that but uh we're gonna take spider-man out and then we're gonna use the secondary function of this um if i can get him out there we go use a secondary function of this the rope on the back spider-man can put can attach to uh it's like a gold web I'm gonna put his hand on there there we go and yeah he can just he can hang off of the back of it while he's fighting the vulture also forgot to mention that on the back this is a sticker these two right here are stickers this is also a sticker and on each of the arms, there's a sticker right there. And on the front of this Nexo Night Shield is also a sticker. All right, moving on to the instruction booklet. Uh, it's the standard uh, it's $20 uh, instruction booklet, 100 piece, 200 piece instruction booklet. Uh, inside, you got standard building operations. Uh, Skip to the to the back. You got the piece count. This is great. Uh, on the page before that, you got the final bill and then the advertisement for the October wave. No, this is the uh, the September wave. Uh, yeah, and that looks great. And on the back, you got the win thing. And moving on to the box box is your standard $20 box size uh, I'm gonna zoom out just a tiny bit so you can see the rest of the box uh, of course you got vulture spider-man drone spider-man vulture spider-man up top with a beautiful render of spider-man on top of this new suit got the spider logo at the bottom actual size uh, let, me, let me do get spider-man off of the thing so I can do this bit okay uh, so for actual size Spider-Man, let's put them up. All right, that's pretty accurate. 
Uh, on the side, we got some Spanish on the back of the box. We got play features. There they are again. Spider-Man, drone. There's the spider at the top. Can't see it. There you go. Spider at the top. Uh, that's Vulture, Spider-Man, um, Marvel, bottom of the box, Life, Recycle, Barcode. And yeah, that's it. Now let's go on to the final thoughts. And there you have the Spider-Man No Way Home spider drone duel uh this set is pretty good all things considered even though yeah i feel like everybody can agree spider-man doesn't need a drone but getting a new mysterio in spider-man is great so i say it's not all bad um so i say pick this set up uh just for the the, the figures again which is i feel like most of this way if you can get the set for the figures um you can also get the set for the the beautiful gold spider web pieces which look fantastic, but uh, I feel like that's all I got to say. So I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.